Hello, hi guys, welcome you all to the DevOps Delight YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see yet another task of 100 days of DevOps task challenge. So let me go to nineap.codecloud.com. Hit enter. And since I logged in already, by default, it gives me the task dashboard. In your case, it may default, you need to enter your username and password. Once you have provided those details, you should be able to see screen something like this. So yesterday we started our 100 days of DevOps journey. We finished day one and now we are at day two. So in this video, we are going to see day two task that is temporary user setup with expiry. Let me click on start button. It may take one or two minutes to load our task. Meanwhile, I'm skipping the video here for a while. We got our task. First, let me read the task. Then we will look into the solution. As part of the temporary assignment to the Nautilus project, a developer named James required access for a limited duration. To ensure smooth access management, a temporary user account with an expiry date is needed. Here is what you need to do. Create a user named James on App Server 2 in Status Data Center. Set the expiry date to 2024-217. Ensuring the user is created in lowercase as per the standard protocol. Okay, so by default we are in the jump host and here is our task. In this task, uh, we are supposed to create a user named James on App Server 2 with an expiry date of 2024 to 17. Okay, so for that, first we need to jump on to the App Server 2. So let me take SSH access to App Server 2. To have SSH access to this App Server 2, we need to have server details. For that, let me click on these details of all users and servers button here on top right. Search for App Server 2. Yeah, this is the one. ST App 02 is the server name and Steve is the username. Let me copy the password. Steve. Okay, now let me type SSH and then username is Steve. The red server name is ST App 02. Hit enter and type yes. Let me give the password that we copied. Enter. Now I log in as a Steve user into the App Server 2. Okay. So before uh, creating James user in the server, first let me see whether a James user exists or not. So for that we need to use cat slash etc slash passwd and then grip name of the user is James. See, we can't able to see anything. That means James user does not exist in this server. So in order to create a user with an expiry, we have multiple ways. Let me show you all of them just for your understanding. If in case user is already existed that time, you can use sudo user mod and then iPhone e expiry date. and then name of the user let's say james here so like this here this command did not executed because i commented out just for your understanding let me create one user sudo user add and then let me give it name as devops delight okay before that let me show you whether that user exists or not okay devops and delight See, user does not exist. Now let me create a user. Then need to give the password. If you do the filter, you should be able to see user. Okay, fine, just now we created, but how can we get to know that whether we set expiry date to this user or not? So there is some command named chage-l and then the username. So if you give like this, 
then you can able to see all the details okay so we don't have permissions we need to use sudo okay now if you observe here password expires never by default this is the things that will be happening now what i will do is let me use command see here let me remove james and then put our username devops delight and remove this comment see now we can able to see february 17 2024 okay earlier it was never and we used the user mod command and then set expiry date as 17 to 2024 which was reflected here same way you need to apply for this username james okay since we are creating new user itself so we can use sudo user add hyphen e and the expiry date and then name of the user okay to validate we can use the chage sudo we need to give because we log in as a steve user right so we need to give the sudo at the beginning chage hyphen l and then the name of the user see it was set to february 17 2024 or else if you don't want it to use user add there is another command that is sudo chage hyphen capital e and then expiry date whatever you wanted to set we use this one and then give username okay so yeah that's how it will work guys since we did our task let's validate it by clicking on check button here click on confirm yes we did it right congratulations that's it for this video guys see you in another video with yet another challenging task of our 100 days of devops keep learning keep practicing